Hi, my name is Stephanie and this is my analogy speech. Today I'm comparing myself to a plant. <laughs> I'm comparing myself to a plant because have you ever seen a plant closed up and sad, but once it's given water and sunlight, all its necessities, it becomes more open, tall, and strong? This is what I mean. So I'm comparing myself to that plant because I am very shy, so I'm very closed up at the beginning. But once I am comfortable and I get all the necessities I need, I become strong and I start to open up more. So I think of myself as a plant because I'm always trying to thrive. I'm always trying to grow too. Even if I might seem fragile, I can stand high winds and my roots are firmly planted into dirt, but there's always still room to grow. My family and friends is something I need to keep me growing and to help me blossom into a pretty flower one day, hopefully. So first, I'm like a plant because even if I might seem fragile, I can stand high winds. I was born a bubble kid, so I was always in and out of doctor's office. My mom said she always had to be careful with me. I was like a little plant. I had to be so careful around my ears because when I was born, I was born deaf. My mom found out a couple of days after when she took me to the doctor and they checked out my ears and they were closed. So they put a tube in and after the tube was taken out and my ears were fully opened, nothing could go near them because they would have easily gotten infected and I could have gone back to getting them closed and not being able to hear. Um, the second time that my mom said the same thing again that I was so fragile, I was like a plant was when I busted my lip open. I still have the scar. I was in kindergarten and I fell from some steps in the playground and I got a nail stuck in my lip. I had to get stitches right away and it sucked that whole week because I could not eat. I had to be very careful with anything around my lip. And <laughs> the last story is my favorite story I like to say that really ties the knot to me being fragile. I have a longer leg than another so every time I go to the gym and it's leg day, it's really hard because I feel like I'm doing more on one leg than the other, but because <laughs> it's like longer. So I try not to stop it. Like I try not to get it to stop me from going to the gym and working out my legs. And I try not to stop it from making me feel less of a person because it's not noticeable, noticeable, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> So not only is my body fragile, but my mind can be too. I'm a very sensitive person, but not in a bad way. I think it all started when my parents got divorced. They got divorced when I was about 10 and they tried to protect me from what was going on. So I was kind of babied in a way. And I feel like that's where my fragileness started. My mom moved away when I was about 11 and it really made me become more fragile and more lost it made me become very dependent on other people but after seeing a therapist I started to become more strong-minded and more independent and it really helped me and now when I'm overwhelmed or feel down or lost I like to go out and enjoy the sun and the air anything around me because I feel like it helps me heal and it helps me clear my mind so second I'm like a plant because I'm still growing I'm still growing physically I have started my journey at the gym at losing weight. I have lost about 20 pounds and I still have 15 more to go. I know it's hard, but I know it's gonna be worth it at the end and that's what I'm excited about. Not only do I want to lose weight, but I also want to gain muscle and I want to get more toned so I could become tall and pretty like all those pretty plants. <laughs> I want to be my best and most healthy self that I can be. I'm still growing mentally as well. So I have been trying to grow more spiritually and become more open-minded. I want to become more strong mentally so I won't be so fragile and sensitive. And lastly, I'm still growing to love myself and, and the world around me so I can become a strong and healthy plant. Finally, I'm like a plant because just like they need water and sun to grow, I need my family and friends. I need my family in order to continue my path. My family was very supportive of me when I was going through some problems and I didn't want to go to school or even get out of bed some days when I was in high school. But just like plants have rainy days, they use it to their advantage to grow the very next day. 
My mom has always been there for me and gives me the best advice. She's basically my water and sunlight because honestly, without her, I would be lost. I would honestly die. <laughs> my sister is like my second mother and always looks out for me. She's the reason I have grown so much and she's the reason why I am so strong. She has always been there for me to give me advice to help me with anything as well. She was the one that basically raised me after my parents got divorced and I'm super grateful for her. She's my number one sunlight, my number one water too. <laughs> without her, it'd be the same as my mom. I would die without her. So my friends are always supportive of me and want to see me succeed. And I think that's why I need them as well as I need my family. They are the water to my plants. <laughs> so when I was going through some traumatic experiences, and problems in my life my friends were always there with me no matter what day it was what time it was they were always there to cheer me up they would try to make me laugh even when my darkest days were horrible um i was on my lowest points and they were always still there for me though my friends are the reason why i'm no longer at my lowest point and instead i'm at my happiest instead they are my favorite people to be around and they're the reason why I am also strong. I feel like family and friends is like a big thing to have in your life. They also want to help me succeed whether it be in school or just that life. They want to become the they want me to become the best most prettiest plant ever because when I was going through a lot of trauma too, they were there to help me go to school. When I didn't want to, they would push me to go to school to continue to live they pushed me to do everything and it's the reason why i went from being at the lowest point in my life to the most best point in my life so my conclusion is that at first i might look delicate but i can stand many storms very hard stormy days too second even if i am deeply rooted to the earth i'm still growing more and more and there's always room for improvement and finally, what keeps me nourished is my family and friends. I'm like a plant because I might not seem like much, but I'm resilient. I am changing from a tiny seedling to a strong flower that cannot be stopped. Thank you for watching. <laughs>